Hi, it's James, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create pages in Canva. So here on my screen, I have some examples that I'm gonna create for you in this particular video, and I'm also gonna show you how to set a page as a home page. So what you're gonna do on the left-hand side, you're gonna scroll down to where it says pages, click on that, if it's your first time creating pages, you're not gonna have something that looks like this. It'll be a little bit easier. You'll have a little blue button that says plus pages here. However, every time you create a page and you wanna create new pages, you have to click on this view all pages button. So I'm gonna click on that. Now you'll see this blue button that says plus page. So I'm gonna click on this. Now you'll see a box up here and a field down here. Up here, this is where you will title your page. So I'm gonna title it unit one. I already have a title right there. And then you can either put pictures here, you can put other things, whatever it is that you want here. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna put notes, videos, and examples, because maybe I wanna come back later on, I wanna put things in, but we'll save that for another video. When you're ready, you can either click save and publish or save. I'm just gonna save it for right now. If I click view all pages, I can clearly see now that I've added this page. If I want to publish this page, then I click here and the students will be able to see it. If I don't want students to be able to see it, then I unpublish it, okay? Just because you publish a page doesn't mean that the students will be able to see it because you have to put the link somewhere on your Canvas site, which I'll show you how to do that in a few seconds. I'm gonna add another page real quick. Unit two, biochemistry. So I'm gonna say notes, videos, examples, so notice the options right here. If you click on this drop down, it says only teachers, teachers and students and anyone. I don't want anybody else editing my Canvas page but myself unless you have a co-teacher. So I only leave it as only teachers. Then you can click add to students to do or allow a mastery pass. Now this is something later on for those of you who are new to Canvas and you're just learning how to use this. So we're not gonna worry about that. If you click on add to student to do and you publish it, the students will still be able to access your page even if you don't put the link because it will show somewhere on the right hand side of their screen. So just be careful if you click on the add to student to do button right here. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click save and publish. Now I'm going to go back to home. And notice that the titles that I titled my page are not linked. Okay, so the important thing is once you save your page you have to now take that link and place it somewhere on your page. So the way that you do that is I'm going to go up here to edit on this particular page. And there are a couple ways you can do this. I can highlight this entire sentence that I typed out. I click on pages and then I can click on unit one foundations of anatomy and physiology because that's the page I created. And now you can see it's highlighted, it's been linked, it's a blue color, and if I hover over it, there's a line and a little note pops up saying Unit 1 Foundations of Anatomy and Physiology, letting me know that it's been linked. Let's say, for example, I didn't type all this stuff in first and I wanted to create my pages first. You can do that, it's probably a lot easier. You can just click on the page right there and it will pop up. That's probably a lot easier. I can click on Unit 2, Biochemistry. If I had another unit, which I don't, homepage, I can do that. You don't have to sit and type everything out first. You can create your pages and then just whenever you're ready, go to the page that you wanna put the links on, click edit, and then just click the page links right here and it will automatically populate in the field. I'm gonna go ahead and save this page. So now if a student were to click on this, it takes them to the page. And you can add links on any page. It's not just the home page. It could be any page that you want. So let's say for example, unit one, I want them to, I want to have a link to the home page. So let's just say down here, I'm gonna to go to pages. And then I want them to be able to access the home page again. So I'm gonna click home page. I'm gonna save that. And so now let's say students, they're going through the notes, videos, examples, but they want to go back to the home page. You can just click on home page and it will take them back to the home page. So you could put links that link to other pages on multiple pages. The important thing to remember though is, let me click on this one real quick. If for some reason you decide, hey, I don't like the title that I gave to a page and I'm gonna change it. So let's say I change this to Foundations of Anatomy. Let me delete that. 
So I changed the title, it was Foundations of Anatomy and Physiology, but I've just changed it to Foundations of Anatomy, and if I save this, okay, I'm gonna go back to the home page. So remember that this link was for Foundations of Anatomy and Physiology. When I hover over it, that's what it says, but I just changed it to Unit 1, Foundations of Anatomy. So when I click on this, the link is broken. It says it does not exist, but you can create it below. So keep that in mind. If you created a link and then you put that link on a whole bunch of other pages, but you decided, oh, I don't really like the name and you went and you changed the name, it is going to break that link on all the other pages. So that means you have to go back to those pages that you had that original link on and you have to update it to the new link or else students are going to have a headache or you're going to have a headache when they're trying to get around to things when you change the original link. So just be mindful of that. Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna show you how to create a home page. Now I have my home page set here, but I'm going to go to pages and again, view all pages. So notice right here, this home page says front page. So in order to create a home page using a page that you've created, you have to first set that page as a front page. <laughs> so let me show you what I'm talking about here. So off to the right hand side, notice these three dots. If I click on this, it says use as front page. When I click on that, notice how the front page went from home page that I had it set originally to unit one. I can remove that if I don't want that as a front page. And now I don't have a front page at all. But I'm gonna go back and I want my home page. I'm gonna use this as a home. I'm gonna use that as a front page. When I click on home, so Canvas has her set back to what it looked like when I first created the course. It looked like this. So now I have to go over here to the right hand side and where it says choose home page and click on that. I can have the home page be the activity stream. I can have it be the course modules, which you see right here. I can have an assignment list as the home page or I can have the syllabus but I want a welcoming homepage. I know my, my example doesn't look like that. So I click on pages front page and then I click save. And so there you have it. Now my page doesn't look that welcoming. However, ideally you would create a page that says like, hey, welcome to anatomy and physiology or welcome to fifth grade, whatever it is. Maybe your syllabus, a video from you or a picture of you, who knows. But that's essentially how you create a homepage, selecting a front page after creating a page in Canvas. That's my video. I hope you liked it. If there was anything about the video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or subscribe if you haven't already done so. As always, thanks for watching, and until my next video, bye.